morning. It is currently 7.44 on a Tuesday morning. It is bin day, which means bins are going. Green's full, red's full. Um, so today's gonna be quite a busy day. I have actually a lot to do and I've got no laborers today. I was supposed to have someone come in to help me labor, but obviously they pulled out. Um, so yeah, it's all up to me. I've got to do <coughs> install sleepers on the post that we did yesterday. Uh, blue metal, ag line, garden, oh, dig down the existing soil, garden mix, remulch it, uh, load all the old dirt onto my car. Um, I brought my trailer today for extra backup, even though it's a plant trailer. So we're gonna do some modifications to make it be able to take materials. So very busy day ahead. We'll see you there. Let's go. So what you'll see here is my way of making my plant trailer more usable. I basically laid a massive tarp out and I've got about garden mix and uh, blue metal on it. So I've got about a, I think I've got a half a cube of garden mix and quarter ton of uh, blue metal. Didn't need much obviously, cause this is pretty small, this garden bed. So what I started off by doing is basically cleaning out all behind the post where the sleepers are gonna sit. So dug it back a good 150, 200 mil back, just so there's enough room so I can get an ag line. Uh, the drainage, drainage rock, and I re-dug out all the dirt that was sitting on top because obviously it was way too much. So a lot of labor once again by myself. So I did have someone who's supposed to come in, um, but they pulled out the last second. So they, I would have probably got this job done I don't know, actually no, I wouldn't have got this done because it took me a whole extra day on top of this for the next third day. So, but oh well, it is what it is. So here I am just digging out all the soil and um, you saw me remove a couple of trees there. Those are the ones that I cut down the day prior. So yeah, all this dirt is going to go onto my car and uh, all the rubbish is going to go on the trailer. So I completely filled up the whole front yard and left heaps of dirt out the back. The next day. Here we are just tacking off the sleepers. So what I do, I actually lately have been using a drill, mainly because I set this post one day before, so I didn't want the vibration from impact drill uh, wobbling the concrete, making the post become loose, because that will happen, especially after one day and no curing. So plus it was quite um, overcast and I'm sort of wet the next few days, so had to do this. Plus, I like it. I don't want to hear the aga dugga noise all day long. So I'm sure you guys that run solo will know what it's like to be doing all the labor yourself. There's so much just walking around. Like you average 15,000 steps a day when you're doing all the walking around. <laughs> like there's so many little jobs that you just have to walk straight back at the front to grab one little thing and then you come back and then you need another thing and you're endlessly just going back and forth to get tools. So it's just a never ending battle. So well, when you have a laborer, you can say, go get this, go get that, go get this, while you're still working. So you don't lose productivity time. So I hear like, I got to cut all the sleepers. And obviously I don't want to overload myself and carry more than two at a time, you know what I mean? Because they're pretty heavy. So I don't know, it's just little things like that. It all adds up time-wise. You might spend an extra hour bloody just walking back and forth. I'm sure you guys know what it's like. What I always do is I mark 50 millimeters in from the post 
because the post is obviously 100 millimeters oh. wide so it's just easier to mark that and then measure to it and then that way i know my sleep is always dead center on the post it just looks nice so that's all Bloody trees. Sorry, come So for this next bit, you'll see I'm running a string line. All I'm doing is basically measuring down from the top of the string line to work out my cut because this concrete's not flat. It's on an angle, so you can see here I'm taking a second measurement. So I already know the predetermined length is like just under a meter. So I'd measure the difference and then cut that on an angle. Works out pretty well, actually. Thank you. 
So what I'm doing here is installing the geofabric, which is essentially like a membrane to help all the mud and water build up from leaching through, filtering the water essentially.
So coming into the end of day two, this is what we're left with. Garden mix is installed. All that dirt is for me to barrow out. If you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for all the support. We're over 260 subs. All right, thanks guys. See